What we have is uh, our, our standard gas mask for the Nebraska State Patrol and, and a lot of law enforcement agencies use these across the country. And we have uh, these filters which have a specific uh, uh, threading to them so that we can use these. Now, uh, these, like all the other filters across the country right now, are hard to come by. Uh, but I realized that we also had in our possession um, a good number of, of these cartridges. The problem I was coming up with is figure out a way to make A work with B. So I came up with an initial just pencil design, then sent that around to a couple of manufacturers. Didn't have a lot of luck until Sergeant Aldag with Nebraska State Patrol also uh, said, hey, I've got a contact out at, out at Kawasaki. So it was, it was pretty apparent what they were trying to do. We thought we could help. Um, our staff ended up being able to design it in a matter of hours. Um, but our 3D printer was already tied up with another initiative that we were working with on Nebraska Innovation Studio to provide sh face shielding for Bryan and UNMC hospitals. So we didn't have the ability to get these out into the field very quickly. Uh, and one of our suppliers into metal here in town, a, a small fabrication shop, um, had reached out saying, hey, how can we help? Um, as a small company, it's, it's tough for us to find the contacts on whether it's with, with hospitals or different organizations on where to help. So um, I was talking with Garrett and asked if he wanted to just reach out to Kawasaki to see if there was something that we could uh, work through them and, and help the community with. I told him we had a 3D printer that we could more than welcome to print stuff and he sent me these parts and now we have 30 or more of them already printed. And then come up with an adapter that screws into our current gas mask with a good tight seal. So great solution. Uh, just an idea that I had that hopefully it will work to benefit law enforcement maybe even across the country.